12,000 Rand was invested in a fund that paid interest at M% per annum compounded quarterly. After 24 months, the value of the investment was that. Determine the value of M. Okay, so this is actually a grade 11 question. So if you are a grade 12 learner watching this, be careful when you look at these financial maths questions and all of a sudden you wanna go use your F or P formulas. You gotta be careful. They are also gonna test you on grade 11 work. So it says 12,000 Rand was invested and that was it. They didn't say 12,000 Rand was invested every single month. They didn't say 12,000 Rand was invested every single year. No, they just invested 12,000 Rand once. So we're only gonna use the normal compound interest formula from grade 11. If you are a grade 11 learner, you know what I'm talking about, obviously. So we know that the value became that. So we're gonna say 13,459. We know that it started as that. The interest rate per year, we don't know. So we're just gonna say um, M, okay? Now, we would normally, don't be tempted to put a 12 over here. This one's actually compounded quarterly. So should we put a four or a three? Well, ah, let me explain. So if you have January, February, March, April, May, oh, I'm not gonna run it, I'm gonna run out of space. July, August, Sept, October, November and December. If you divide that into quarters, that's what you get. So it takes place every three months, but how many times, how many quarters are there in a year? There are one, two, three, four quarters. That is the number you put at the bottom there. It's how many times does it happen per year? So it would happen once there, then there, then there, and then it would happen again at the end of December. So there are four compounding periods happening per year. Now, for this value over here, this is gonna catch a lot of learners out. They said after 24 months. Now, 24 months is two years. So if you are comp, so you could say here two times four. That's what I was trying to get to. Um, you're actually not gonna use 24 at all. They're trying to confuse you. So it's two years, and each year you are compounding four times. So how many times would you compound altogether? Eight times, okay? Now, to work this out, what we could do is divide by 12,000 first, and then that would just be an eight. The next thing we can do is take the eighth root on both sides, okay? Because that'll cancel out this part over here. And so, but now, Trust me on this, don't use your calculator right now. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be rounding off the whole time. Just leave it as long as you can, like that. Then on this side, we don't have the eight anymore. There we go. Because this eight canceled, or the square root, the eighth root canceled that out. Okay, don't type this on your calculator yet, just leave it. And now what we do is you don't even need a bracket anymore. So you can take the one over. So you're just gonna have that. But now the one is not inside the root, okay? So it's there. Now we have that. Then what you do is you multiply all of this by four. Or you could also put the, you could also multiply the four there and then the four there. That's also okay. But I'm just gonna multiply the whole thing by four. And there we go. Then you go calculate what M is and then multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. And we should get, if you multiply by 100 as well, so just say like that, and we would get 5.78%.